Hello everyone, and welcome to the Quantpedia Explains Trading Strategies video series. Today, we will talk about the FX Carry Trading Strategy. Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. My name is Radar Wojtko and I'm CEO of Quantpedia. Today I would like to discuss one of the most known Forex or currency strategies and its currency carry strategy. So there are a lot of variants of this cornerstone strategy in uh, FX and not just in FX but also in other asset classes. We will explain uh, in this video what the strategy is about, how it performs and I will just show you that there are a lot of variants. We can uh, try to do some optimization of the currency carry strategy within time, currency carry strategy, uh, we can use the carry principle in other asset classes, etc. Et so uh, it's a very, very popular style, but mainly used in uh, currency. What is the currency carry or FX carry trade? Uh, at the end of the Bretton Woods system in the uh, 70s, in 1970s, there was the emergence of really floating currencies. So it means that the exchange rate started to flow against each other and investors and traders could start to bet currency will go up which will go down well, fx carry trade is not based on the bet that which strategy goes up and which goes down the carry strategy is based on the idea that in a case that there is no movement in the underlying cross currency exchange rate between two countries it makes sense to borrow money strategically borrow money from low interest rate currencies or sell low interest rate currencies and buy high interest rate currencies. So we can try to capture the spread between the rates. So in case we have a country with a 0.5% rate and another country with a 10% rate, we can borrow with 0.5%, invest into the currency with a 10% rate. And in case there is no movement in the underlying uh, exchange rate, we will get the difference of 9.5%. So it looks very, very interesting. Of course, there is a problem. Currency with a higher exchange rate usually depreciate because it has higher risk or high inflation, but it's not always the case. Now, the question is, uh, what is the fundamental reason why the FX carry trade strategy is working? The academic theory says that according to the uncovered interest rate parity, carry trades should not yield the predictable profit because the difference in interest rates between two countries should be equal to the rate at which investors expect that the low interest rate currency would rise against the high interest rate currency. But the uncovered interest rate parity theory doesn't hold. So it means the high interest rate currencies often uh, doesn't fall enough to offset carry trade deal differences between both countries or both currencies. Uh, usually it's because the inflation is lower than uh, what was expected in the highest interest rate country. So it means when we buy high interest rate currency, inflation is lower, then we capture the spread. Additionally, the carry trade trading often weakens the currency that is borrowed. The reason is simple. The investors are converting the borrowed money into the high yielding currencies and this causes price drift, so it weakens the borrowing currency. And capturing those gains is possible by a systematic portfolio rebalance. There is one more important thing that I would like to mention regarding the reason. One of the reasons why the carry is working is because it comes with the risk. So uh, there is a risk of carry unwinding, so especially during the times when there is a global imbalance or a global instability, the carry trades has a crash, as it was in 2008 or uh, 2020 during the coronavirus crisis. So it's not a strategy without the risk. How does a simple trading strategy look like? We create an investment universe that consists of several currencies, 10 or 20. We go long the currencies with the highest central bank uh, prime rate, and we go short currencies with the uh, lowest central bank prime rate, so with the lowest rates. The cash is not used at the margin, is invested, invested in overnight rates. Strategy is rebalanced in this case monthly, but we can rebalance more often and we can even leverage strategy. Strategy was performing very well until 2007, 2000, yeah, until 2007. Then uh, it lost a lot of the money during the global financial crisis and then it performed well until around 2013 14. But around 2014 or 15, there was a very long period of low interest rates. So a lot of developed worlds had a low interest rate. And, uh, there was a very small spread between the currencies. So the carry was not performing very well. In the last two or three years, after there was a surge in inflation, a lot of the national central banks they started to increase interest rates. So once again, we have a significant spread between the countries with a high interest rate and countries with low interest rate. Once again, this strategy is performing very, very well in the last few years. There is also another thing that I would like to mention. As I mentioned, the 
currency carry trade is very very popular strategy so there are a lot a lot of papers related to it our other paper section in on Quantpedia it's uh, really really populated with a lot of papers there is a lot of material that you can read about strategy thank you very much for your attention and i hope that you will join me in the next video thank you interested then pick another video to learn more or subscribe to Quantpedia Pro and try how our analytics and reporting significantly save time spent on quantitative research.